Just got done editing the last video that dropped on the channel. Now it's time to go film another one. Okay, here I come, Home Depot. Hey, hey, hey. We're rolling with no shoes today. Beautiful. Okay, so here's the concept. We're trying to make a feeder for the ducks, pretty much where I can pour a bunch of food in there and I don't have to worry about refilling it for like, like a week almost. I got pieces. These two right here, those are pretty much pieces of PVC. A cap, and then we got a tube. This tube right here. And to hang this thing up, I've pretty much got like this metal galvanized hanger strap. Yeah, here's where I put it together. Get a little bit of a uh, uh, boom, boom. Did it. So I fill this entire tube up with food and this holds all the food and it comes down to here and because of gravity, obviously it's not gonna come up. It's kinda gonna sit right in here. They can eat it and as they eat it, it slowly drops down and fills up more. I don't have to seal this with PVC glue or anything like that because really, I doubt the food is gonna seep through the cracks. And I wanna be able to take this apart to move it around and things of that sort, but we got it. Let's go check out. Okay, and driving with Brenton starts now. This is a new segment on the channel. I don't know where I am. I'm, I'm Jessica. I don't know. Oh, oh God. What was that? Oh. oh God. I'm pulling off at a gas station so I can just get my payday. You guys stay right there. Right there, I'll be right back. Okay, got it. Shoot me a DM on Instagram and send me videos of your gas station snacks or comment them down below. When you go to a gas station, what snacks do you get? I get a Big Red and a Payday normally. I know a lot of other states don't have Big Red. I'm also trying to eat healthy, but it's just not, not working at all. For a 16 year old, it's just so hard to commit to things. Yeah. Oh, okay. Carbonation. Come on, Janice, come on. Got it. Nice taster right there. Oh God. Let's get home. Okay. Hey guys. So I'm back. We're gonna get the ducks out of the pen. I'm also gonna do the same type of thing like this, but like completely different with like barrels and stuff like that. I don't wanna give it away, but for water. So we always have clean water. And changing it isn't a big problem. But that's a whole nother system, but it's kind of like I'm trying to do the same concept, make it automated to where it's not as much worry. Okay, I'm thinking like this corner right here is where it's gonna come down. So I'm gonna move this back to there. Okay, drill, screws, and the weird wire thing. And we want this probably about, I don't know, I'd say, this high off the ground maybe? Maybe like right here? Yeah, right there. This is the stuff right here that wraps around this and screws in. See, I'm trying to, I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to make this fit around the pipe. and it is completely installed. So all I gotta do is take this cap off, let's fill it up. And voila, just like that, we've got a feeder in the corner. All I gotta do is keep eating this and as they eat it, it slowly starts to come out right here. But this is legitimately exactly what I wanted. Now I wanna do another one with oyster shells, probably like on this post and another one with grit on that post. Crushed up oyster shells are really, really beneficial for ducks because it's got a lot of calcium in it. And then grit is also really good for them as well. So we're gonna do two more of those and then an entire water system. And maybe an inside pond, I don't even know yet. But we can get this old bucket out of here because we have an entire new system. You hear that, Jaquan? Oh my. Okay, it's uh, a day later and I'm in Arkansas. Yeah, I know these videos are kind of all over the place right now. I've been traveling everywhere. Where's Jaquan at? Jaquan, no, come over here. Come on. Come on, Jaquan. Oh, oh, oh God, that zoomed in. But we are uh, moving Nate in for college. So it's kind of a... 
It's kind of a sad day, but I've also got to edit a video and you guys can kind of see the entire dorm room. We just set him up. Cabinet there. Oh. Can't reach. Where? I love how you're doing nothing. Everybody's doing something you can play here. Okay, so yeah, no, we just set up Nate's entire room. If you guys are new to my channel, Nate is like my big brother. He's been with me for the past five years, every single day. Got ice cube. So is Jake one. Jake one's also like my big brother. Um, and Nate's moving into college, so it's like a depressing time, like a really depressing. It's it's like a depressing time. Like it's gonna get emotional in the next video because it's gonna be like filler content. You guys will see a little bit in the video of us saying goodbye to Nate. Like we're like if you've been subscribed to my channel for a long time, like Nate has. I wouldn't have a YouTube channel if it wasn't for Nate. You're much on that ice cube. Okay. But um we just we just set this entire setup up for him for college. What he's here for football. He's on a football scholarship. He's actually a quarterback, which is crazy. Um but like we've all been together for the past four or five years and he I filmed so many videos at Nate's house and now it's kind of all getting separated. I'm not gonna lie, it's really 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 depressing and I know a lot of you guys skipped through this part but for all of you who stayed you probably know that uh, this is kind of like why the videos have happened um, because like I'm becoming an adult slowly he's about to go to college so Nate's leaving he's leaving then right after he leaves Zenny leaves and after that in a year I buy a house and it's kind of like we're all just separated so it's kind of sad man <laughs> it is it's really depressing it really is. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I did make that whole duck feeder thing, which is sick. If you guys have ducks, which I know a lot of you do, considering you've bought them based off of my videos, yeah, you can 100% do that. It's easy. It cost me $25 at Home Depot, and you can make them even smaller than that. We also set Nate's closet space up behind all this. I know a lot of this stuff isn't crazy interesting. You better follow me on Instagram. Okay, Jake one and Nate's Instagram will be linked <laughs> in the description. Um, anything you gotta say? Um, peace out, Nate. Love you, dog. You're the trash at football. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you've got to join the channel, click the subscribe button down below. Let me hop under, like, I am gonna kinda live here because I'm gonna come here as much as I can. It's a four hour drive for me and I'm totally down to make the four hour drive. It's just, we're not gonna see him nearly as much. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you just joined the channel, like I said, click the subscribe button down below. Follow me on Instagram at fanatic.media. If you guys liked today's video, click the like button. Any videos, ideas, suggestions similar to this duck thing, I'll go ahead 100% do it. I wanna do those other two feeders that I talked about. If you guys haven't seen where I got the idea from to do that, roll the clip. <laughs> He built this? Yeah, he built You know what's crazy this about it though? This is so cool. Hey, uh -huh. there's chicken nipples. Oh my god. Chicken nipples. Chicken nipples right here. A whole line of chicken nipples. God, this is dope. Yeah, this is a roosting place, place, obviously. Look right here. But this is where they, they den. All up in this. Those are fake eggs though, right? Uh, no, those are probably real eggs. Are they? Those are real. Oh yeah, those are. No, that's fake. That's fake. That one's fake. It's crazy, right? That's dope. And then this is where you put the feed, I'm guessing? So, no, that's, um, grit. That's grit. Grit, okay. And that's calcium, and that's okay. calcium, and that's grit. And what are you using for calcium? Are you using oyster shells, or what? Yeah, oyster shells. Yeah. And so. Wow. We keep some feed in here but most of the time they're not in here until we let them out first thing in the morning and then they put themselves up at night that's how i got the idea to do that is when me and chris went out and did the fly larva video he had the same concept set up which is like really cool and i want my duck pen to be very similar but uh yeah with all that being said say uh goodbye to those good old times right there and uh, i'll catch you next time on the next episode of fanatic peace you just I did, did it behind me <laughs>